you don't get treated right in New York, when you don't get treated right in L.A., when you can't get treated right in Detroit, when you don't get treated right in St. Louis, when you don't get treated right in, in Alabama, Atlanta has been here for us. This city don't deserve it. Eh? However, I understand that a lot of others do. But we can't do this here. This is what Congress is sacred. It must be protected. Shit is getting serious, man. Hit that like button, man. Look, it's just... This is why they say, well, Frank, why you don't like, man, why you don't like rappers talking? When they don't talk, y'all get mad. When they do talk, look, let's make an example of when they do talk. Beyonce, I said she didn't say nothing. She spoke, and it came off pro-black, and then it ended up with a whole America narrative. Where it was like, basically, she said, all lives matter. T.I. spoke. And by the way, let's address T.I. T.I. came up there looking like Michael from Good Times. With that fucking 1978 haircut. Looked like he just rolled out of bed, just popped his in. Who fucking got him up here to come up? If you wasn't prepared, bro, you should have just stayed home with Tiny. What the fuck are you talking about? The nigga said, this here, we can't do. We can't do that. However, and walked off like he did a mic, like a mic, like a mic drop. Like when, like he was Randy Watson in 88. Are you kidding me? Now, at least to kill a mic shit actually made some sense. And uh, even if you don't agree with the nonviolent approach, Killer Mike was professional and he made sense in what he was saying. Uh, this whole narrative that Atlanta is just a black city and it's like the end all be all for black folks. And you could just go down there and it change your life. That narrative is bullshit. In Georgia, the state of Georgia is just as racist as any of these other states in the South. Atlanta, it puts a lot of smoke and mirrors that make you think that Atlanta is, you know, the promised land for black folks. But it ain't the case. I know the mayor is black and. The population is high as far as black, but it's not uh, it, it's not like racism doesn't exist in Atlanta. And, and the people in Atlanta are showing you their frustration by tearing up CNN, tearing up Icebox, tearing up all these places. And this motherfucker thought, you know, his power and his influence, like I said, that's very dangerous for you to come up there. This is not the time for joking, man. This ain't the time for games. You know what I mean? Just saying, if you want to joke, do that on your podcast expeditiously. Do that in the crib with Tiny and the kids. He could have stayed your ass home for that goofy shit, man. This ain't no Disney movie. This ain't no fiction. This ain't Chaz Bosman. Angela Bassett ain't your mom's. Michael B. Jordan ain't your brother. This ain't no Wakanda play around foo-foo shit, man. If you're not... And like I say, stop pulling these silly ass niggas and putting them in position to speak. If you're not really gonna say no real shit and use your your your, your following in a serious manner, then then shut the fuck up. You could have left that for your Instagram post. He got up there on a press conference on on local news and said that silly shit and walked off like he said something empowerment. Like he said something empowering. Like he said something that was going to, you know, really uplift people. And I'm like, you, what are you thinking, man? And like I say, we talk about school and education and you, you realize how many of these motherfuckers that don't have a, a, a high school diploma and they, they expose their ignorance every time they get up here and speak. So, yeah, T.I., yo, you, you, you got to chill, man. You get a haircut before you come on TV, first of all. What happened to making sure you look good on TV? You look respected. You get respect. You know, but these riots is out of hand. Uh, they're doing Philly right now, the angriest city in America, man. Be careful. They're getting the National Guard. They're really coming out here. Just be careful. Like I say, they burned down Black Wall Street, so I have no issues with them burning down anything it's a lot of white people involved in these protests also pointing fingers at cops getting in their face because they know they could fucking do it and get away with it you know uh niggas tore down cnn i mean it's just everywhere oakland dallas houston minnesota <laughs> you know what i mean brooklyn went off the whole fucking country somebody said mississippi did a peaceful protest i'm like yeah the niggas down there know they place that's why the <laughs> niggas know they place you know what I mean? Charlotte, niggas in Charlotte looted Food Lion. You know what I mean? Atlanta took out Icebox. This shit is, it's, it's, this is a pandemic right here. This shit is crazy. And it's spreading like wildfire. And like I say, if white people, if America just did us right, you know what I mean? You wouldn't have all of this shit going on right now. Because this shit does look like a movie. It is, it is out of hand. But you poke the beast, you know what I'm saying? You can't, it's going to happen. You know, but we can't have fucking irresponsible, stupid shit like that from T.I. I don't know what the fuck T.I. was thinking, bro. You, he's a wild boy. <laughs> it's just, no, we don't have time for that shit, man. This is not the time for that, bro. CNN, Ted did a great thing. 
I love CNN. I love Cartoon Network. But I'd like to say to CNN right now, karma's a mother. Stop feeding fear and anger every day. Stop making people feel so fearful. Give them hope. I'm glad they only took down a sign and defaced a building and they're not killing human beings like that policeman did. I'm glad that they only destroyed some brick and mortar and they didn't rip a father from a son. They didn't rip a, fa a son from a mother like the policeman did.